friends, it's Melissa Staxfell. Thank you so much for joining me. Today I'm going to do some exercises to help with any low back pain. So we're gonna strengthen the core a little bit, um, do some hamstring and psoas releases, and it's gonna feel really therapeutic for your low back. So if you've been kind of sitting all day working from home and you need a nice stretch and warm up, uh, join me. All right, we'll start on hands and knees. Top of the table. Oh, and I forgot to mention. Grab a pillow before we start. And um, a towel, a belt, if you have a strap. I found a really funky scarf that I'm gonna use as a strap, all right? So pillow and anything for a strap. And now we'll meet top of the table. All right, we don't need our props yet. Shoulders over wrists, fingers spread out wide, point your fingers pointing forward. So we never want our fingertips pointed at each other. And then two fists would just fit between the knees and your toes can either be pointed down or tucked under, whatever feels good for you. Be intentional, ankles are straight, belly hugs in. And then just start to press the floor away from you, feeling the upper back really engaged, shoulder blades drawing apart and then hug in the belly and lift the tailbone up slightly so we're not moving in cat cow yet we're just finding a strong neutral spine and you should be feeling some strength building in those shoulders and then inhale we'll find our cow tailbone draws up shoulder blades drawing together so your heart is melting down and then forward and then inhale hug in the belly tailbone tucks under Press into the floor, tuck chin to chest, looking at the belly button. Keep the shoulders over the wrists, pressing the floor away. And then big breath in, tailbone draws you up, shoulder blades draw together, heart lifts. And then again, exhale, tailbone tucks, pressing floor away, tucking chin to chest, looking at the belly button, pressing pointer finger and thumb down. Big breath in. Tailbone lifts, shoulder blades together, heart lifts. Exhale, tailbone tucks. Cat. Inhale, cow. Exhale, release, cat. One more time, big breath in, tailbone lifts. And exhale, tailbone tucks, shoulder blades floss apart. Press pointer finger and thumb down. Slowly release, bring the knees out wide, toes together. Let the crown of the head fall. If it does not fall to the floor, grab your pillow in front of you and lower the forehead down to a prop. We don't wanna keep the forehead floating. Let those hips sink down, tailbone draws towards the back of the room as crown of the head draws you forward. Let the whole face soften releasing any tension in the jaw and the brow. Giving yourself a moment to simply slow down here, to feel the breath, to connect your mind and body. And then slowly come back up, we'll meet on all fours again. And then just begin to extend your left leg out long. So the left toes are tucked under now. Really t lift and tone the back thigh so it's not lazy here, really squeeze it. Gaze forward, press equally into both palms, hugging in the belly, pressing floor away, and then feel the right hip draw you up some so you're nice and square. Staying here or inhale, reach right arm by your ear. Palm faces that left wall. Staying here, or let that left foot come away from the floor. Not too high. Toes point down. You can look underneath you. And then gazing back forward. The foot and the hip are at the same height. Inhale, reach and extend. And then exhale, round like a cat. Elbow and knee kiss. Press the floor away. Inhale, reach and extend. And then exhale, round. Inhale, reach and extend. 
and exhale round. One more time, inhale, reach and extend, hold, exhale, right hand down, left foot back down how we started. Keep your right knee where it is, swing that right shin parallel to the front of your mat, spin open towards the left, flatten the left foot down towards the floor, and then reach your left arm up in this version of supported side plank. Shoulder blades together, chin away from chest, keep reaching that left arm up. Really press the sole of the left foot down, stay here, or just sweep that left arm over ear. Big breath in, exhale, release, come back to a table. Beautiful. Extend that right leg out long, press the floor away, feel that left hip draw up, fingers spread out wide, Staying here, or again, inhale, reach, left arm up. Left palm faces the right wall, and then maybe the right foot draws you up as well. Look underneath you, right toes point down, your foot's coming straight from your hip, it's not too high. Keep that gaze forward, inhale, reach and extend, kick, and then exhale, round, elbow and knee kiss, press the floor away. Inhale, extend, kick. Gaze forward and exhale, cat the spine, we round. Inhale, extend it. And exhale, round. One more time, inhale, extend. Exhale, left hand down, right foot down how we started. Keep the left knee where it is, spin the shin parallel to the front of the mat and then spin open towards the right in supported side plank. Sole of the right foot is down, press pinky toe side edge down, hug in the belly, shoulders back, stay here or sweep right arm over ear. Big breath in, bask in this right sideways stretch, chin away from chest, big breath out. Beautiful inhale. And exhale, release that right hand back down. We'll meet in child's pose one more time, knees out wide, toes together. Crown of the head to either floor or pillow. Slowly come back up onto hands and knees. Grab your pillow, place it at the top of your mat, and grab your strap or fancy scarf like me, and then lie onto your back, placing your back of your neck to the pillow. A rolled up blanket works nice as well. Have that strap nearby. Bring the soles of your feet down to the floor, and then reach your fingertips towards your heels so that you're so that's a good gauge that the heels are underneath the knees. And then inhale, reach your arms up overhead. It's okay if they kind of float from that pillow. And now reach your butt off the floor. Good, inhale. And then exhale, lower your hands down, lower your butt. Inhale, reach arms up, hips up. And exhale, lower. Do that again. Inhale, hips up, arms up. And exhale, lower, stay here. Flip your palms up, shimmy the shoulder blades together. And then inhale again, reach those hips up. Pull the mat apart, if you're on a mat here. Stay palms up or interlace hands behind your back, full bridge, shimmy the shoulder blades even closer. And then press the back of your head into the pillow and lift your chin away from your chest. Try to not squeeze your butt so much and then inhale, press the feet down, lift the hips up, and imagine your feet drawing away from your head, but the feet are glued to the mat. Inhale, hips higher. Exhale, release the hands, release the butt. All right, listen carefully. Bring your feet out as wide as your mat. Knock your knees in. Your low back is naturally going to lift off the floor. Good, that's what we want. Reach your arms out to the side, palms up. Close the eyes. Stay here. 
or left hand to heart, right hand to belly. Inhale, breathe in to the hand. Belly fills up like a big balloon. And exhale, slowly draw the belly button back to the floor. Awesome. Bring your feet back to hip width. Grab your strap. Inhale, right knee to chest. Exhale, strap around sole of the foot and then kick the ceiling away. We are not drawing the leg towards us yet. You're keeping your leg 90 degrees from your chest. Left knee points up, it's not splaying to the left. Foot is flexed as if you're kicking the ceiling away. Notice my elbows are bent and I'm not reaching my head. My head is not lifted off the floor. So I'm keeping a nice and release um, neck. You don't wanna release, you don't wanna add any tension there by lifting. And then also walk your hands down your strap all the way so that the shoulders are down and released as well. Staying here, if you wish to add more juice, extend that left leg. If the left leg is extended, you have that same kicking action, left toes pointing up, left inner thigh rotating in, so everything's hugging towards that midline. Inhale, kick, foot into strap. Exhale, release, head and shoulders down. Big breath in, keep kicking. So this is a nice low back release. Not drawing our leg towards us. Keeping that leg 90 degrees from chest. Stay here for five more breaths. Beautiful, inhale, bend the knee, remove the strap, hug both knees into strap, into chest, mm, rock left and right, maybe roll the ankles, and then release your feet back to the floor. Inhale, left knee to chest, strap to sole the left foot, and then kick that foot up to the sky, keeping your leg 90 degrees from your chest, not drawing it towards you. I know it's tempting to get more hamstring, but we want to get into our psoas, our low back. Good. Kick foot into strap. Hug in your belly. Right inner thigh rotates in so the knee is not splaying out. If you are tight, please stay like this. If you want more juice, kick that right foot long and forward. Right toes point up. Again, that leg's not lazy. Inner thigh is hugging in. Kick that right foot forward and keep kicking left foot towards the sky. Draw the shoulders back, chin slightly away from chest. Settle in, find the breath. Yes, we're working, we're kicking foot into strap, but how can you use your breath to just balance with some softness, with some ease? Perhaps a gentle smile appears on your face, knowing that you are doing something nourishing for yourself. Awesome, big breath in, exhale, bend that knee to chest, remove the strap, hug right knee in as well, maybe hold opposite elbows, rock left and right, big breath in, exhale, release feet to the floor, cross your right leg on top of the left for figure four, and then pick the left foot off the floor. If you're tight, you're gonna grab that strap in the right hand, bring your right hand through that donut hole, 
and then straps gonna go around the left thigh and you're gonna pull a strap towards your heart. Feet are flexed, so how would your feet look if you're pushing two flat surfaces away? Trying to get your sh right shin parallel to chest. If you don't feel much here, feel free to ditch the strap, interlace hands behind left thigh. Again, right hand is through the donut hole gap. Kicking hands into thigh or thigh into strap. Again, peel the tailbone down long. So that's your low back. You wanna get that tailbone down towards the back of your mat. Chin away from chest. Kicking right foot into left thigh as well. Now, if you're really open in your hips and you wanna go deeper, bring your right knee into your right armpit or right elbow crease and the right foot into the left elbow crease. And then you can kind of cradle that leg. This is so deep. You do not have to go here, so stay where you are, but just find whatever hip opener works. And again, peel the tailbone down away from crown of head. Whatever hip opener suits you. Release your arms and your field goal shape. And then slowly let your legs fall to the left. Left thigh down, right sole of the foot presses to the floor and then gaze to the right. Inhale, hug in the belly. And then exhale, lengthen your hips away from your head. Bring those legs all the way back up and then feet flat to the floor. Left foot on top, switching sides, figure four. Lift the right foot off away from the floor. Left hand holds the strap. Bring that hand through that donut hole. Strap behind that right thigh, pull it towards your chest. Widen that left knee away from the chest and either stay or if you wanna go deeper, interlacing hands behind right thigh. Again, left hand goes through the gap. Kick hands into thigh, lengthen tailbone down away from crown of head, and then press left foot into thigh to widen your left knee, aiming to get that shin again parallel to the chest. Both feet are super flexed. You have this action in the feet as if you're pressing two flat surfaces away. Belly remains strong, and breath remains long. Again, if you wanna go deeper, bringing knee and foot and elbow crease, still kick through that front foot, but you find what suits you. Beautiful yogis, release your arms, bending them 90 degrees in field goal shape and let everything fall over to the right. Left foot's gonna be, sole of the left foot falls to the floor and your whole right leg, knee stays bent, falls. Gaze up or over towards the left. Inhale, strong belly. An exhale, anchor left hip down and away. Beautiful. Slowly unwind it. Uncross the legs. Hug the knees into chest. Big breath in. 
And on your exhale, interlace hands over right chin and extend your left leg out long. Inhale, kick through both heels, feet are flexed, toes point up. And then draw your right knee outside of your right rib cage and then pull it up towards your head. Inhale, kick through that left foot. And then release your right hand and then drag your knee over towards the left for a deeper twist, keeping right shoulder down and then just sticking your booty back behind you more to deepen. The right knee can stay lifted. If you have another pillow nearby, you can also put the pillow underneath the right knee. The most important thing is that the right shoulder is down. You don't want it lifted up. Chin draws away from chest. Slow the breath. Slowly come back up, hug both knees into chest, inhale, exhale, hands interlace over left shin, extend your right leg out long, both feet are flexed, and then inhale, kick, hands into shin, draw that left knee outside the rib cage, kick, 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 and then exhale, release left hand down, draw the knee over towards the right, roll onto the right hip, sticking the butt back behind you a bit more. And glue left shoulder down, gazing left if that suits you. Inhale, hug in the belly. Exhale, twist. Slowly unwind, hugging knees into chest again, big breath in, mm. on your exhale, widen your legs for happy baby, please don't lift the head, if you just hold ankles or shins, that's perfect, feet are flexed towards the ceiling, anchor again the tailbone down, perhaps you rock left and right, take a big breath in, and then on your exhale, release your feet down and then gently remove the pillow and then draw the pillow underneath your knees and see if you can do this without lifting your head off the floor. If you have two pillows nearby, you can keep one underneath the head as well. Draw your shoulder blades together. Again, pillow behind the knees. Should feel really good for the low back. Take a big breath in and a big breath out. Allow your natural breathing to come back in. Feel your lips touch. Imagine the forehead soften. Notice the space between the teeth and the back of your mouth. Feel soft, weightless, and free. there's any tension that you are unknowingly holding onto with each out breath, allow it to exit the body. Knowing that you only need to hold on to what empowers you, what fills you up, what makes you radiate light and love. Let this breath remind you 
with how brave you are to close the eyes and to turn inwards and to allow yourself to pause to slow down and for making space and time for yourself to feel good to ease the pain in the body to ease the mind Breathing in, I am. Breathing out, here now. Inhale, I am. Exhale, here now. I am. Here now. your inhale reach your arms up overhead point your toes low back off the floor exhale hug knees into chest big breath in on your exhale rock onto your right side knees are stacked left hand in front of the chest to the floor right cheek lands on extended right arm feel nourished in this fetal position Feel empowered in this shape that you are creating for yourself. And then use that left hand to press you up safely. This is how you should get out of bed in the morning as well. Lying on your side, using your left hand and then your right to help you up. It's gonna be very therapeutic for the low back. And then gather that pillow, sit on the edge of it. And then bring your hands together at your heart. Anjali Mudra and sit really tall. Lifting your chest as high up as your thumbs, sitting proudly, reminding yourself that you have arrived. Take a big breath in, big breath out. Bring your thumbs to third eye center. Bow your head to your heart. So much light, love, and health to you, yogis. Thank you for sharing space. Namaste. I hope that your low back and that your entire body is feeling much better. You always have this video to turn to if you're feeling stiff again. Um, and I'd love to connect with you. Please find me on Instagram at Melissa Staxfeld. I'm doing a bunch of live streaming from my bedroom right here. And I post my schedule on my social media. If you have yet to subscribe, please subscribe for more and hit the like button for this video. Thank you again so much and be well, everyone.